I was born and raised in Detroit. I have family in Louisiana and in Detroit. My family migrated from Louisiana up to Detroit. So I have family in both, and I actually finished high school in Louisiana. You know, uh, going through so much, or the neighborhoods that I grew up in in the, in the Detroit area, you know, my family and ultimately me wanted to, you know, have my survival, survival rate to be higher. So I chose to, you know, move to a, to a smaller rural, rural area in Louisiana and ultimately, you know, um, finished high school there. And uh, my my guardian father, who's, you know, still considered my father to this day, you know, the way he raised me and raised, you know, uh, my brothers and sisters there, you know, it's just something that, that I, I personally felt like I needed. And it goes back to, you know, the being under the radar. Um, you know, from a small school, being able to play at a high level, uh, dominated in high school, then get got the recognition and everything, and ultimately became a McDonald's All-American my senior year in high school. But be, being a younger kid that's looking to, you know, play uh, college, collegiate basketball, um, transferring from – the high school in Detroit to Louisiana, my freshman year in high school, I couldn't play my freshman year. So I couldn't do anything but train and practice with the team, but I couldn't play uh, in, in any of the games. And uh, that year I met uh, Tim Floyd's wife, Beverly Floyd, uh, just by, by chance. Uh, she, her mother, uh, or yes, her mother was a patient in the uh, nursing home that my mother, my uh, guardian mother worked at. And so by chance we met, she gave me a, um, a uh, media guy and, you know, told me her husband was a coach and everything. And that was it. So at that point, I just start looking, looking at the media guy, following Iowa state. Um, that's when, uh, Ditcher Willoughby and Sean Baker, Kenny Pratt, Kelvin Cato, those guys were there. Uh, JC Holloway, you know, those guys were there and I fell in love with Iowa state. I ultimately became a high school basketball star and we done all American and my heart was already set on Iowa state. And, you know that's 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 a uh, school that I chose to go to, which is you know kind of confusing to me that I'm still the only McDonald All American ever to go to Iowa State. I think we have a program there that you know even before me and since after me, you know is attractive enough to land another McDonald All American. I just don't understand why it, it happened happened, but um, you know the the recruiting process you know got real real hectic. You know. Letters was coming from everywhere. College uh, schools were calling, coaches were calling, calling the high school because <laughs> then we didn't have social media and we didn't have cell phones and things like that. So, um, you know, they were always calling my parents, always calling home, always calling school. But, you know, with me being so set on Iowa State, it again, I had to block out any outside, anything else because I didn't want to get too confused. I didn't want to get, you know, caught up with his name. I wanted to be the person to go to a university and, try to change, try to continue, you know, what the guys before me had put forth and, you know, carve my own niche and, and carve my own legacy. And, you know, that's what I want to Iowa State to do.